Hi everybody, it's Big Red, and today we have our latest Bell Lost Souls overview. Today we are looking at the Crix book. This is the latest in the uh, Forces of War Machine series. Uh, we have the hardcover here, and this one is quite a beautiful piece of work. Let's start off with some of the basics. Uh, as we've seen with some of the previous Forces of War Machine books, we have a... Um, this is a 144-page book. Uh, we have a price for the hardcover right here, $44.99. It's $34.99 for the soft cover, so that is in line with the previous ones. And let's go through the basics of it. What we have here is, let me get our nice little cover there. Let's take a look at the table of contents to kind of walk us through the basics here. We have, uh, at the start of it, we have a background story. Um, caught between immortals, keeps on going. This is about a fifth. This is a fifteen-page story, and as I mentioned, uh, this is uh, kind of the crux part of the ongoing story, which uh, connects all of these fifteen-page sections that are in all of the Forces of War Machine books. Actually, are are uh, as we walk through these uh, and get to the fourth book here, it's all definitely one big story that is taking place, and uh, this particular set here is dealing with all a uh, uh, a lot of. Uh, intrigue and secrets and and political maneuvering that's happening between the Iron Liches and you can definitely see how uh, I won't give away any of the big secrets but this is definitely uh, building on the previous ones and is and is uh, and is leading in a direction that, that is going to uh, lead directly into the Hordes books as well so uh, it's uh, a really really in, in, in interesting read with lots of interesting uh, uh, lots of new revelations in there uh, after we're done with that we get 10 pages of, of history of uh, of Nightmare Kingdom uh, we have a, a big layout here uh, as an example of the uh, of the military structure of Crix. Like, did you know that Crix has uh, an Iron Lich in charge of foreign affairs? I didn't know that. Um, uh, the Church of Toruk, how they all work. It's pretty good stuff. Uh, information on the Black Fleet. Uh, then we get to uh, the theme forces. Uh, here they all are. We get the theme forces for every caster. Uh, we move on to, and then we move on to the meat of the book. And here we have about a hundred pages, and this is all of this is uh, this is definitely the the, uh, the book in the main. We have all the Iron Liches. We have the new. We have our our new Iron Lich. Who's where is he? He's right in here. We have um, Venethrax. There he is. Um, we go through all of these. Uh, this book, as you can tell, there's just fantastic art in here. All the warjacks are in there. There's the canker worm. You got the new warjacks. All the units are in here. Uh, the big new units that are in this book. I'll just kind of quickly go through those. We have uh, Venethrax. We have blood witches. We have the blood hag. We have uh, the uh, the sea witch and the new Sataxis uh, uh, sea witch captain. So, um, at the end of that whole section. Uh, you have the solos at the very end. You get about a 10-page section of a painting guide for Crix, which is how to paint everything you would expect, the green, the, the rusted iron, living flesh, dead flesh. And then you get a little five-page section, five or six-page section at the very end, which is just all of the miniatures painted, which is beautiful. And there we go. This book uh, uh, is going to be out right around now, and we will talk to you later. Thanks, guys.